this little rack. Here comes Amy. Hello there. Hopefully I'll actually be help, uh, helpful enough to actually think I would be better. Yeah, I can't reach you at all. I can, uh, I can, you can either grab my rope and I can pull you in. How far in do you want to get? Hang on, I'm going to shut this video off and put my phone down. I'm going to let Dave know we're down here. Hi, Dave. I'm down here. I'm going to be taking the kettle off my belt. Over. Four. Four beautiful young falcons. That's awesome. Yes. Okay. Very quiet now. We're at Castle Rock, and that's right north of Winona, the Wisconsin Bluffs. We're at a beautiful pothole iry here, and for the last two years we've had falcons back here, which we are so thrilled because it's such a beautiful iry and a place for falcons to raise their young. Just going to do a little tour of uh, a falcon iry here. So uh, we can see a lot of feathers. <laughs> uh, that's their prey. Um, we see some blue jay feathers over here, and we've got, I believe, some colored lighter yellow-orange feathers, which we see a lot of meadowlark uh, feathers coming in uh, around this area in the Midwest, in the Driftless area. Um, enough about prey items here, but we've, we've got a lot of uh, re prey remnants, I guess I'll call them. As far as the structure of this, it's some really, really neat solution cavity uh, rock here and that's partially how this little cavity formed this was either an open area that was void it didn't solidify or it was more uh, able to be eroded away or friable as they call and uh, a lot of that material that's been coming off of the rock is the substrate here uh, we can see sand and little pieces of rock and gravel and crystal and material that's come off of this ceiling here some really neat uh, uh, solution uh, minerals here. Up, there's a little chamber up here. Um, their ventilation system. And if we go all the way back here, this goes about four feet back into the bluff. So that's one of the reasons I think we think that they like this is it's a nice deep and it's cool and cool in two ways. But here's what the view looks like if you were raised as a peregrine falcon here at Castle Rock. Here is what you would look at. Um, we've got the Mississippi River. We've got Good View, Winona, Fountain City, up to the north. And the parents are fairly quiet. We can hear them, but they're not really coming after us here. So uh, um, a pretty calm day down in the Falcon Irie. Amy's getting ready to ascend here. Just hanging around for the moment. Just hanging around, right? Not a bad place to be hanging around. Thank you, Dave. We're 10 4. Over and out. Amy's on her way up. Putting her leg strap on. It's like, wait, we need leg strap here. What? Mm hmm. See ya. I'm going to Alright, I gotta take a video of this. 
just a little bit of swinging action here. <laughs> I can't take that away, but we're at Castle Rock. Look at those beautiful falcons in there. We got four, three female and a male. And we're at this complex here where if you look at these iris, there's two of them right side by side that look like eyes. And then below, there looks like there's a mouth from, from the highway down below. Just, uh, just an amazing iris here at Castle Rock, just uh, north of Winona. But this is on the Wisconsin side of the block. Looking over here, you can see Winona and the Minnesota Bluffs over here. Um, part of Castle Rock over there. Um, looking up above, I'm hanging over the edge there. Going to be climbing up in just a little bit. Got the bluff over here, just scanning the north side of the bluff. And then uh, we have the cliff face down below. Well, probably won't see you falcons again. Have a great life. See you later.